Before my PhD, uh, I looked at social movements in World of Warcraft. Studying at the University of Auckland Business School in Information Systems helped me to get my job at the University of East Anglia and using Auckland as a name globally was very useful in looking for an academic career. When I started talking in more details about the topic and the research that I'm going to do, I also started checking the, the ranking of the university because it's it's, it's a main factor when you're choosing to do a PhD and the university had a good ranking. That was one of the main reasons why I chose um, the, to study here. The basic reason that I choose Auckland University Business School is that I would like to study with my uh, supervisor Basil Sharp because he's an expert in agricultural economics. He's a very supportive supervisor and it's really happy for me and very fortunate for me to work with him. All the lecturers are really supportive, so even if they're not working directly with you, we have uh, department gatherings, so it becomes more of like an academic family. That's what essentially the marketing department has become for me. When I first came, you know, I, I'm an international student and have no idea about what the business school, what the department likes. But I feel very welcome from the professors, the research fellows, as well as the PhD students. I really love all the facilities that the business school provided to the PhD students. I also like the business school building, the OGGB building, because it's really uh, beautiful. But when I came to Auckland, I find it's quite a diverse city. When you're walking on the street, you can meet different people from different countries. You may find different kinds of restaurants, and that's fantastic for me. I like the style of the city very much because I think I'm an outside person because I like hiking, I like walking. We also have travel grants. You can have one travel grant each year to go for a conference. Uh, if you have an accepted paper. And we also have the press account, which is an annual budget for research-related activities that you can also use. There are scholarships available, and I was fortunate enough to be awarded one. So the, the scholarship gave me some financial support and paid my university fees, which enabled me to work and study in Auckland. Financially, working in the department has helped me out. Since I started, I was a graduate teaching assistant for the marketing department. So what that role really entails is helping tutor students, helping mark, helping grade, helping lecturers and any other aspects that they might need. So that's really helped me financially in terms of day-to-day -day finances. Ultimately, when you apply for jobs in academia, they want to see teaching history and student evaluations. So fortunately, I had three years' worth of information to give my employers when I was looking for a job. Publication is key, of course, now to get a job. And I remember from the very beginning when I started my PhD, Maureen started to ask me to start applying for conferences. Like I had my first conference after three months. She's always asking me to start writing papers, which is really good because now I have the papers, one under review and uh, two others work in progress. If you publish a paper, you can get an award. My supervisors were very willing to help, making sure the quality of the paper was high enough to be submitted to academic journals. Ultimately, when they were published, that was very useful and I think helped me to get uh, the job that I've got now.